Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This is part two of electronic gearing and we'll focus on the follower axis. If you haven't already done so, check out the segment on setting up the leader axis. On the AKD, connector X9 can be either an output or an input. For the follower, X9 will be an input. To set up the follower, first go to the drive command source and select Mo2, electronic gearing. An additional branch will appear on the tree to the left for electronic gearing. The operation mode is then set to 2, position mode. We then visit the encoder em emulation screen and make sure that it is set to emulation mode 0, input, no EEO output. Next we visit the feedback 2 screen. Here we can select the feedback source and have a choice of X9 and X7. X7 pins 9 and 10 can be used for 24 volt inputs for pulse and direction, up, down, and incremental encoder. X7 is a single ended input as opposed to an A quad B. We will be using connector X9 for the setup, which will take an A quad B signal from our leader. Our feedback mode will be set to 0, input A B signal. The resolution, as mentioned earlier, has a range of 0 to 262,140 counts per rev, which is post quadrature. We will use the highest setting of 262,140. In the electronic gearing screen, we can see that the resolution is displaying what we have set in the Feedback 2 screen. If needed, we can change the resolution here as well as input type and input source. If there is a gear ratio between the leader and follower, we can set that using in and out. The range is 1 to 65,536 and the range for out is minus 32,768 to 32,767. Since the range includes a negative, it can be used if the leader and follower are rotating in opposite directions. For example, a 1 to 1 ratio in the opposite direction can be set as in 1, out minus 1. The screen also includes a section for the limits on the maximum velocity, maximum acceleration, and maximum deceleration. Along with the tuning, not covered in this segment, Excel and Decel will have a strong effect on how well the follower axis will follow the leader. Gearing type defines how the follower will start if the leader is already in motion. In velocity matching, the follower will accelerate up to speed, matching the velocity of the leader, and counts missed during the acceleration and deceleration are ignored. In position matching, the follower will accelerate up to position at which the gearing was engaged, making up for the steps that would have been lost during acceleration. This is where the acceleration limits set previously can help or hinder the system's performance. During the setup of the AKD drive, there is a potential to have two common faults, fault 131, secondary feedback AB line break, and fault 132, secondary feedback Z line break. These will occur at the follower setup before connecting the cable from the leader to the follower. Make sure the cable is wired correctly and the proper grounding and shielding techniques are used. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Check out our next segment. I'll see you next time.